Hello, good evening and welcome to the Little Farmer's Farm with me, Guru Mafinda, aka Tony. Uh, just a quick one tonight, me and the uh, lady farmer are planting out some peas from the gutter, the pea gutter. The lady farmer really loves peas, evidently more than me. Enjoy. No matter where I roam, I will get back to my English rose. And no one, and nobody could keep me from she. So we've got a trench dug there in front of the pea net. <coughs> and there's the peas in the gutter. So I've just took the end off to expose them. We're going to wet them now with the, the watering can, get them, get them all wet, wet and damp and then they're going to be scooped out in sections into the, so about a foot at a time we're going to shuffle along once it's wet, we're going to shuffle along as you can see the roots, if you can see those roots have hit the bottom of the, uh, of the gutter so once it's all wet through that's going to go into the, hopefully, fingers crossed Never done them in gutters before, but uh, I've been watching Nigel at Muddy Boots, and it's the way forward. So there's our natural split, and I'm going to slide those into the. Um, could do with getting somebody to film this. So the lady farmer's a bit preoccupied with the monkeys, so let's see if we can tip them in. This is going to be a comedy of errors, this, I can see it now. Oh, what is it? No. Nicely done, Guru, nicely done. <laughs> like that. So I'm going to, uh, again, move another section across and, uh, and crack on. That was one-handed. So uh, any, any, anybody could do that easily, couldn't they, I suppose? So yeah, I'll crack on with that and I'll fill up the trench. So what the lady farmer's doing there is washing around the soil so that the soil will wash into around where the peas are uh, and so you're not directly actually pouring the water onto the peas. <laughs> she's, uh, she's having a bit of a shower there, God love her. And uh, yeah. So we've got some peas left over, so we're going to fill a few gaps in uh, the big pea bed that we've got. So the ones that the yeah, that's what we can we can use some of them beans there for that. I was thinking some of Uncle Joe's um, magic elf beans. Then this side, so peas that side, and the beans that side. You love French beans. I've got eat beans. I eat beans. I eat beans. You've got plenty of peas. Like How many peas, peas do you want? <laughs> you turn into a bloody pea. Yeah. You're like a Poddington pea. That's what me and the boys eat when we come down, it's that one reason for coming. I like peas. Alright. Oh, Not to see your, your beautiful and fantastically physical sexual husband or anything like that. I wasn't aware of it. Uh, <laughs> so, she likes peas. So they're all going to be in there now, aren't they Mrs Moo? Yeah. And hopefully they will start to climb and find their way up the, uh, up the pea netting. And then they should be eaten. We've got flowers on all of them. They'll be peas in a bit, missus. Yeah. Peas both sides. Same with this one. But beans on that side. I want to get the uh, climbing French beans on on that side. On Joe's side, facing Joe. And then on that side, the peas. Happy days. Peas for days. In it, missus. Come on. Do some work. So you're after a carrot, James? Got it. You got one? Oh, snap the bottom off. I said they're not ready yet, but they probably do need a bit more thinning. Carrots in the buckets. They're growing nice, aren't they? Let's see if we can find another one. I'm just going to go ahead and wash this one. already had one. Yeah, we had one before, didn't we? Just get a little of them for Bradley. 
There's a little, oh look at that forky one. Shouldn't be forky ones, that's the first forky one we've had there. We'll give it a little rinse off. So yeah, um, just a quick one tonight. We're going to be planting out loads and loads of stuff this weekend. So I just thought I won't waste too much of your time on a Friday night. You've got better things to do. But uh, yeah, gutter peas. An excellent way of doing it. I think they'll come on strongly. And uh, we'll be harvesting lots and lots of peas. We've got, we've got a load of peas in. The last of the clumps that were there, we planted into that long pea bed as well. And uh, the lady farmer immediately wants to tomorrow morning start some more peas off so there'll probably be, probably be about another 80 pea plants i would like to say going in all well, 80 peas going into that uh, gutter to start more peas off tomorrow and we'll just keep doing that successionally every sort of three weeks now they're going to be ready for planting out so every three weeks after that they'll be going in the ground up until mid to late june easily probably into probably into july um and so then every 12 weeks after that we'll be pulling peas off for about two to three weeks so uh yeah we're going to be getting the, the first of the peas i would think in definitely mid june the next sort of two to three weeks we'll be starting to take the peas off and they'll be ready and then after that all through the summer and into uh, mid to late autumn we're going to be pulling peas off so we're going to have four or five months worth of peas keep growing it yet Dan. i've been good i'm a finder you've been fantastic as always and uh, we'll see you on the weekend another action-packed weekend on the plots with me helen and the family and we've got some guests coming down tomorrow because you can have uh, i think is it up to five or six people um so yeah um howard fiona and izzy are coming down tomorrow and here's the mini digger he's checking he's got his clothes on dad can i can i have a lollipop i think you can have a lollipop catch you in a bit <laughs>